Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing this morning? Uh, it's not raining, y'all. <laughs> Thank the Lord. But if he wants it to rain, I, it's okay with me. I can go in the house and come back later when it stops raining. Oh, I'm out here this morning with my coffee. I decided to let y'all have this this uh, cup. This is this cup this morning, and I'm gonna have the one with the butterflies and uh, flowers on it this morning. And this is my flowers. They look pitiful. I can tell y'all right now, they look pitiful because. The rain beat them down, and I had to go all around and find something decent. And that's not really decent much, but at least it's flowers. And I love flowers. And this is butterfly bushes. And it's already warm this morning, y'all. Uh, let me have a sip of coffee. Are y'all having a blessed morning this morning on this day? I am. After this rain came yesterday, and all my bird feeders was full of water, so I emptied all that this morning, and uh, got, went around and tried to find some flowers that were suitable, just will do for... I, I may not, you know, every time I have flowers because the flowers are about bloomed out. And but anyway, we're all here, and that's what matters to us. We're we're here, and we're going to have a, a, a good time. And with the Lord helping us, he'll make sure we do <laughs> if we try our best. So, y'all... I'm out here this morning going I, I really am unsure about this video uh, really I I don't exactly know how I'm gonna go about it but I'm going I'm I'm making a mosaic tabletop I'm it's, it's a table about well, I don't know if it's bigger than this table or not, but it's a mosaic glass tabletop that someone sent me to put a mosaic a glass on and make a scene or whatever I'm going to do with it. I don't really know yet. Have I had any coffee yet, y'all? <laughs> I'm so... When I finally get out here, I'm so exhausted to... Uh, it takes me a while to settle down. Let me have a sip. See if that helps any. <laughs> I know it's already warm out here. I know that. But what, what this video is going to be about today. It's going to be about showing y'all how I get some of my mosaic pieces uh, to use on my table and on other things too. I, I don't, I've never shown y'all how I, I do that and sometimes I buy some and sometimes people have sent me some mosaic pieces and I use them but I, there's colors that I want that it's not easy to find so I'm going to show y'all how I get that this this is a beautiful beautiful bowl and it's kind of got ridges it's not smooth I'll let y'all see it it's kind of got it's real shiny and uh I'm going to break this and make some pieces to use in my mosaic. Uh, tape. 
So, where's my I'm going to put it in this Ziploc bag if it'll go in here. Oh my! It's not going to go in there. It looks like I'm going to have to break it and then put it in there. I know what I'll do. I've got a tub over here. That I'm using as a pitch for the glass, and can y'all see? Y'all can't even see that. Let me move my coffee. I need another table. glass bouncing in there. Oh. Y'all may not remember this little hammer, but I won this little hammer at a, a little a senior dinner that we went to. They give away door prizes, and it's a I mean, it's a bolt and a piece of rebar and a, a little handle. I think it's a hose or some kind of hose stuck up here. And it's a good little hammer. And, and I put it in my car so in case somebody wants to come in my car and mess with me, I'm going to hit them with this hammer. <laughs> Don't y'all think I need to do that? Because people nowadays... There's no telling what people will do. I'll be right back. Okay. Let me get this up here where y'all can see it a little bit. Maybe I need to bring the camera like up here and Okay, I may zoom it back out in, in a little bit, but uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with this hammer. Uh, I'm going to look away because I don't know where the glass is going to go. stuff is this? This may not be me glass. Are y'all believing this? Let me get my my cutters. I can't even break that with a hammer. I, I did not know I was going to have this trouble. Can't even break it. I'm going to try with this. Oh, it broke then? Oh, shoot. That's good. This is what you do, y'all, when y'all see something you want a color of glass that you want to work with you buy old things from resale stores very cheap look at there oh that's so pretty am I
you want something like big or uh, bigger pieces than you have then then you have that, that there's a, there's the the thing that I couldn't hardly break okay let me where's my I'm gonna put it in this bag here and when I need some red pieces of something I can go to this bag and take it out and cut it and I'll show y'all how to cut Y'all be real careful with this stuff because it will cut you. There's the little piece. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to make a, a petal for a flower with this, with this piece here, and see if that, if I can. You just take your little cutters. Where are y'all? There they are. Uh, you take these cutters and you cut in the shape that you want. And you just snip, 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 snip the ends. This is fun, just making something out of this vase, a bowl. Okay, there's a there's a petal for a a flower or whatever you want to make. Is that not beautiful? and easy okay let me put it over here and move it and get another one okay Whew, didn't mean to do that this is a blue one a blue vase and I got it at the resale store and I don't know I just I reckon I'll just try to clip the sides because Yes, it broke. Look how easy. And these cutters were given to me, and I have used them. I had some other kind that just kind of snipped together, but they're not near as good as these. Oh, look at that beautiful piece of blue. Yes, y'all might not can see down there, way down there. And y'all just got to be careful and not get any glass in your eye. I try to cut away from me most of the time when I can think about it. You know, the colors that you get in your uh, bulk pieces are not like this. They're, they're, uh, the colors are, I have run into problems with colors that I, I like and want. And I, So if you see a vase or anything that's, you know, that's suitable to uh, use, 
then you you got your colors that you need. You don't have to pay a lot for the colors that you would like to use because a lot of times you can't even find that color. You just have to be very careful with this stuff and try not to get cut. And when you find a place that you need a certain color, I'm telling you, the heat is pretty rough. I love finding things that I can use. There, there's my uh, glass that I just cut up. I'm going to lay it right over here. Oh, y'all, look at this one. Look what a beautiful color. Okay, I'm going to try to cut this one. And this came from the same place, a resale store that is a good Christian. Oh, that is pretty. Oh, my goodness. I wanted to kind of raise it up so y'all could see in this. Y'all, I think I'm just going to show y'all how to cut this. I'm not going to make anything out of it today. I'm just going to show y'all how to. Uh, you can use this. For colors that you like and that you can't find. You can't find that color. Uh. I haven't found it. They may be some, but this was like 99 cents. And look at the colors that you have to use when you need them. You just go in there and get your bag out and cut the size that you want from what you have. I think that's awesome that you can get all this stuff from Okay, I need to put that in a bag for use when I need it. And if you leave it big bigger you can cut things out of it that you want to maybe a bigger size than what you get in when you buy this stuff because a lot of it is real small and some of it I like small and some of it like flower petals Okay, y'all, while I was talking, the video, uh, the video camera cut off, and let me have a sip of coffee. Let me move this. I was showing y'all how to cut this uh, glass here up, and it's in this tub, and I've got to put it in a bag, but I'm going to set it over here right now. And do that in in a little bit okay I'm gonna have a sip of coffee because it has gotten hot even though the Sun's not out it's still hot y'all can y'all believe it and I covered my coffee up 
uh, because I didn't want any glass to get in it. And it, ca it comes with a cover, so nothing can't, a bird can't drop anything in it, unwanted. <laughs> or whatever, you know what I'm doing now, glass popping it all over the place. I didn't want any in this cup, so I put this top on it that c comes with it. It's awesome. It's an awesome cup. And I'm going to have a sip of it right now. Is everyone ready for fall of the year? It's going to be the fall of the year shortly. Not going to stay summertime all the time. It's going to be fall and then winter and then spring. That's my favorite time of the year because it's all the flowers that go away in the winter. They all start popping up out of the ground, and they're uh, blooming, and I love that time of the year. It's not real, real hot. It's not real, real cold. It might be times that it's kind of cooler, but that's okay. I think I can tolerate it a little better this, this coming year than I have in the past because it has been one hot summer this year. It has been Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. It set all kind of records all over because the weather has been so hot. It broke records from way back. So, I I won't forget this summer because it's been a hot one. I've got a fan now sitting over there. I hope it's not making a noise that you can hear. Trying to keep a little tiny bit of air. It's not blowing much. It's just moving the air, and that's what I like. Just something to, for some. It doesn't have to be real cold, you know, but I want a little air because it's just. You see what I'm doing? I'm just. Clouds up there. It may rain any time. You never know about this weather, what it's going to do in the next few minutes, because it could be raining up the road and not raining here. It could be raining here and not raining up there. It doesn't rain in big, big areas. It rains like in spots, and thank the Lord we got some, and I'm proud that we did. I hope everyone is having a blessed, blessed morning and enjoying your coffee. Or someone told me they drink Dr. Pepper, and that's fine. Dr. Pepper's okay. All that stuff you drink, anything you like, you don't have to drink coffee. And, and oh, I, I'm drinking some water. I don't have any out here with me right now. But Cody has got on to me. And some of my viewers have mentioned that they don't see me drinking any water. And you need water when it's this hot because when you perspire, all your fluid in your body gets gone and you don't have any much left in there. And it just, I think it must make you hotter. I don't know. But I'm trying to be healthy as I can. So I can stay around here longer if I can. <laughs> People might wish I'd go on. But I'm not ready yet. The Lord's not ready for me. So I'm not ready either. I'm still here and I'm I'm, I'm thanking the Lord every day for uh, the things that I have and the people that I know and my YouTube family and my church family. And... I, I went to the grocery store yesterday to get a few little things and I ran into this lady in there and she's my age and I was telling her she was so proud to see me we haven't seen each other in a while you know we we have we've been friends for years and years but uh, I just haven't seen her up close and spoke to her 
But yesterday I, I saw her and I spoke to her and we were talking and I was telling her how thankful that I was that I'm still here and I'm still able to get around and do things and and I told her my health was good. I don't don't have any health problems whatsoever except my brain. I, I reckon it needs a little help, but I think when you get 81 years old, 81 and a half, you know, some of that stuff kind of gets a little off, uh, but I I can live with it. I mean, I, I, I got Cody to help me when I, when I need some help uh, remembering something or whatever, and I was asking her about her health, and she told me that her health was not good at all. She has diabetes, she has heart trouble, and she has all, she takes that bunch of medicine. And I'm so thankful that I'm not do, having to do that because I could have, I, I don't know why I'm not having any of that stuff, but Thank the Lord has helped me to get where I am, and I'm healthy, and I'm so thankful that I am, because that's something you can't take medicine and get 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 it gone if you're not healthy. You can take some medicine to help you get through the day and next week or whatever you have the wrong with you, but you know some things can't be medicine can't fix. You just are blessed to have good health if you have good health. I guess I've got good health. <laughs> I don't go to the doctor and I don't know, but uh, somebody said, well, you don't know if you uh, something's wrong with you or not if you don't go to the doctor and find out. I said, well, you know, I'm not going to go to the doctor if I'm not sick because they're going to give me some medicine. And I don't think I need any medicine. And I've heard some people saying they've been taking medicine for a long, long time and they were stopping taking that medicine because they were dizzy and they were having a few problems, you know, so they they cutting back on their medicine taking. I think medicine is good and may help you, but medicine can harm you too. It can it can ha it has side effects. And it's all kind of uh, things that can happen from side effects of medicine. And it can't fix everything. You have to be, try to be healthy yourself and uh, do things that don't cause you to lose your health. I don't know what that is, y'all, but, uh, you know, I've never done any uh, alcohol drinking or smoking or and I'm not saying if y'all do that, that's wrong, or if y'all do that, that you shouldn't. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying I have never done that. And I, I may, it may be some of my health being good. You know that I haven't abused my body in any way, and except staying out in the heat too much and getting too hot. I have done that. Oh, y'all, y'all is so, so enjoyable to just be, have a home, have a yard, have flowers, have my birds, have my little pet rabbit, wherever he is. I wish he would come out sometimes and let me see him a little more than I, than he does, but, you know, he's a wild rabbit, <laughs> and he acts tame, but I know he's not. He just, my son said, rabbits sort of like if they stand still and don't move, then maybe you won't see them. <laughs> I guess that might be right because that rabbit does that. He, I can walk right up like this close to that. I, I, can y'all see? This close to that rabbit. And he sat there and he did not move any. But when I made a little noise like, pss, 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 oh, he took off and went that way and went out of sight. 
I'm not going to do that anymore. I, I'm not going to uh, make a noise because I don't want him to run away and I don't want him to be afraid of me. But there's a little bird just came back there and is eating some seeds. And y'all, it's so wonderful to be alive and to be healthy. And, and I pray, Lord, every night for people that are have things wrong with them. There's people in our church that are very sick and we, uh, Sunday night, we all gathered around the altar and they pray for people that has problems and things wrong with them. And our church is a, a praying church. It does, uh, they, and it works too. Uh, there's one man in our church, he had cancer. He was going to, uh, taking chemo. He was going in another town, Macon, in another town to take his treatments. And he got very weak. He got so weak he couldn't walk. He lost weight. He could not hardly talk above a whisper. And the, our preacher, Brother Doug Bridges, he, he prayed we all and the preacher prayed for this man and he claims that the Lord has healed this cancer and he's got gained his weight back he's gained his energy he works a job and is that not awesome y'all that the Lord can heal you if you have enough faith in him to uh, let that happen you have to have faith you can't say, well, I don't know if he's going to heal me or not. You know, you got to have faith. He is going to heal me. If you've got faith that he will, then he can and he will. So, I don't know anybody else's situation, but I know situations here. And so, thank, I'm thanking the Lord every day for his mercy and love for us. And I'm thanking the Lord every day for y'all. Y'all's love for me and my family. And that y'all have blessed me beyond my dreams. I could never, ever have dreamed that y'all would accept me like y'all have. I just... Well... I was going to try to make this a short video, but it looks like I'm just keeping on and on and on, and it's not going to be short, but it is going to be shorter. Uh, I, I'm going to uh, drink another sip of coffee, and then I'm going to stop, I think. <laughs> Don't y'all think it's time? I, I, I'm not going to make a... Uh, I'm not... Oh, I was going to drink some coffee. Y'all... Y'all pray for me, because, but I guess, you know, if you forget to drink your coffee, I guess that's okay. You can drink it when you think about it. <laughs> it's not like taking medicine or anything. You forget your medicine, you might, might not work, but drinking coffee, I don't guess that's bad for you. Uh, I don't believe it is. I think coffee's good for you if you don't overdo it. Like if you never, never drink anything else but coffee, ever, you know, I drink, I drink water. I'm trying to drink more water. So, uh, y'all, I'm going to stop. I just have to say, I'm stopping and do it then because sometimes I say I'm going to stop and I go right on doing some more stuff and talking and but this is I was going to make this a short video or shorter video for y'all the people that I, you know that want it, a short video this might not even be the kind of video you want to see it doesn't matter if you don't want to watch it it's okay but I'm making it for some people that might want to watch it and learn how to buy 
stuff that you can use in your mosaic. That is awesome stuff. You know, you put glass down on a table and you arrange it. And then when you get through, and I'm going to put resin on it. I'm going to put, after I get all my stained glass down and get it glued, I'm going to pour resin over it to seal it and keep it just the way it is. And I just, this is to show y'all that. I just how to cut your glass to get ready for your mosaic. Not, I'm not showing you how to do a mosaic on this video. Maybe, you know, I'm going to show you on this table that I'm working on. But I don't know how long it's going to take me to do it because I'm trying to think about what I'm doing as I go. And y'all, I changed my mind a lot. I think I'm going to do it this way, and then I decide to do it this way, and then arrange this way, but it's going to look okay, I think. So I'm going to let y'all go this time and, and let y'all have a shorter video. And y'all have a blessed, blessed day. Subscribe and share and click the bell. And... Yeah, that's all. Oh, and share uh, my videos with people that you might like to share it with if they like it. I've seen some videos. Sometimes, sometimes I, I wonder how they how they get on there and stay on there. <laughs> but I guess you can put anything on there you want to. But some of them kind of way out on left field, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> In my opinion, not worth much. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. Have, have a blessed, blessed morning. And be a blessing to others. And let your light shine. I want my light to shine. And I want to let people know the, the Lord, how good He is and what He does for me. And what He'll do for you. If, if you allow him to. I think I feel some rain, y'all. I guess it is time to quit when, you, when you're when feeling rain and my camera's over there in the in the rain. So, bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs> bye, y'all.